Good evening, fellow lesson enthusiasts. So, what has been happening uh, since last time? Uh, all the motors have been auto tuned. Uh, I changed the uh, the set axis for the rotary axis because of the torque influence, and uh, now everything is working. So we are now having a. Uh, the normal action on the on the A axis. So if I'm pushing this one, it will go in this direction. And then if we go over here and I switch to rotary, then the rotary will work. Uh, I don't know if I would be able to set the steps or correct it for uh, the bed. So if you are engraving on a flask or anything, this 153% increase on the scale in one direction to fit it or measure it and do vendor setting on it. So I do have a couple of options here that I can set. like. I can change the steps, I can change some steps here, uh, other things also. Uh, well, uh, for the moment I do not do many rotaries and I actually want to build a new rotary. Uh, uh, the same one Apolog has in his, their machine then. We have two wheels over here and two wheels over here and these wheels can actually lift up and down so you can have a bottle and you can have it uh, exactly in the uh, vertical position for engraving uh, also uh, for the c-axis i am going to change it so uh, i am going to get uh, a new screws for this probably just one screw here in the center on both sides and then i'm gonna get a h or these hemline thingies similar to this ones just on the sides here maybe i think two spots should be enough on both ends and then the then the sorry the lead screws here in the center on the separate side also i want to build a easier uh, control to actually level the table um, so if I want to level it uh, I also ordered Arduino a uh, couple of Arduinos Uno and Nano and uh, I am going to put a live at the focus on this C table with that one uh, but I was seeing that the, the screws, or if I would get it right, they are moving the whole bed like wobbly. So I will need to fix the bed so it doesn't move. And then I will gonna put uh, uh, this sensor on the head, and uh, so it will actually the focus. Uh, it will move the C -ax set the axis up and down according to. Uh, the lens height you want. Uh, also, I saw uh, Arduino uh, outputs that you can see what the motor are driving, what the motors are doing. Uh, there are two wires out of the cables that uh, I'm not using at the moment. I was thinking of uh, like making a monitor to uh, monitor uh, all the motors. Uh, there is also a gyroscope thingy that are uh, kind of interesting that I could put on the table so I could maybe automatically level it with a gyroscope thingy there's a lot of cool things that Arduino can do um, and uh, at least my application for live autofocus is what I want to do so I was looking at the internet for these H liners, uh, I think I can get them pretty cheap. Um, if you have any pointers, which one I should get? Uh, and I'm gonna get this ball bearing screw 
that has the ball bearing inside and puts inside like a big one and I was thinking just have one in the center it's gonna drive the whole thing on both sides and uh, some kind of drive system that I'm gonna build with the motor for both screws so that will be interesting to see as of now I am going to start to put the tube in and align the mirrors so this is uh, looking good thanks for watching